f of x is said to be equals to 4x squared minus x. If we use the power rule, f prime of x is equals to 8x minus 1. So in using the first principle, if we don't get to 8x minus 1, then we made a mistake somewhere. So let's go ahead and derivate this function using first principles. First, we're going to compute f of x plus h. We are replacing x with x plus h on our equation f of x. We're going to get 4 multiplied by x plus h squared minus x plus h. If we solve this, we're going to get 4 multiplied by x plus h squared. That is x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus x minus h. This will be equals to 4x squared plus 8xh plus 4h squared minus x minus h. We have f of x plus h. Let's go ahead and subtract f of x. So f of x plus h minus f of x will be equals to 4x squared plus 8xh plus 4h squared minus x minus h. Everything minus 4x squared minus x. So we have 4x squared minus 4x squared. That is 0. And then we have minus x plus x. That is also 0. So f of x plus h minus f of x will give us 8xh plus 4h squared minus h. Now we just need to divide by h. So we're going to have f prime of x being equals to the limit as h tends to 0 of 8xh plus 4h squared minus h divided by h. We can take h as a common factor on the numerator. We're going to have the limit as h tends to 0 of h multiplied by 8x plus 4h minus 1. Everything divided by h. h and h cancels out. And then now we are letting h tend to 0. So we're going to have 8x minus 1. The same answer we got when we used the power rule. Let's look at 7.2. 7.2.1. Determine dy dx if y is equals to, so we have y being equals to minus x to the power 3 minus 16x squared plus 6x. dy dx will be equals to minus 3x squared minus 32x plus 6. And just like that, we have answered uh, 7.2.1. No trickery whatsoever let's do the equation that follows 7.2.2 this one is a bit interesting f of x is equals to 4 divided by 5 x to the minus 3 minus 3 divided by the square root of x squared well the cube root of x squared let's write f of x in our usual format we're gonna get f of x being equals to 4 divided by 5 x to the power 3. If it is x to the power minus 3 and it is on the denominator, when you put it on the numerator, it's going to be x to the power of 3. We have the cube root of x squared. This is just equals to x to the power 2 divided by 3. So we're going to have x to the minus 2 divided by 3. Now we have our equation in our usual format. We can go ahead and use the power rule. So we're going to have 3 multiplied by 4 divided by 5 x to the power 3 minus 1. Minus 3 multiplied by minus 2 divided by 3 x to the minus 2 divided by 3 minus 1. This is equals to 12 divided by 5 x to the power 2 plus 2x to the power minus 5 
divided by 3.